Ellie. Um, really excited to be saying that Lauren and I are going to Florida on Friday. Today's Monday, so we are getting super close now. And I was watching back our old vlogs and things and thought, okay, so Lorna's done like a pack with me vlog before. Um, and I thought, why not bring you along on my journey of packing as well? Because Lorna hates it. I love it. I love packing. It just makes me so excited for like the holiday to come. And it makes me think like, oh, you know, it makes it feel so real. Um, that's not an ad by any means, but I use this app called Pack King, which I thought is great fun because it just reminds me of the things I forget often when I'm packing and I'm like, oh yeah, like I'll buy that or I have some of that in the cupboard somewhere, etc., etc. So yeah, if you feel like using it, it's so handy. It puts it all in categories and you can like delete the bits that you don't want to pack and then like leave things that you do want to pack and then you can press like a plus when you repacked it. And I just think that's so useful. Anyway, so I'm gonna sort of give you a little bit of uh, insight into what's going into my case. I'll do like toiletries and things first. Um, maybe just a bit of like a sneak peek of clothing and then sort of show you what goes in my hand luggage versus like my park bag and my like main suitcase. We're really lucky if we're flying with Virgin because we get our hold luggage, 23 kilograms. We get um, like one sort of wheelie suitcase. So I've got this back here and then you can take like another bag. So I'm going to take my backpack, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, which I'm sure you've seen in vlogs before. Um, yeah. Um, before I get started, I hope you appreciate my wallpaper. <laughs> um, we moved recently and we redecorated and I was like, I really like this wallpaper. And my boyfriend was like, yeah, that's nice. I was like, it's Epcot wallpaper. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And uh, soon ab like, above me there, we're going to have a shelf where I'm going to put all my stitches that I've been collecting, the ones from the Disney store. Anyway, packing. So starting off with um, deodorant. I bought three only because this one, the Dove one, which I use roll on, they don't seem to be stocking anymore. It's this one, which came like in a box. Oh, you can't see it, I stuck a stick over it and I wasn't really impressed with it. So I've got this one, which is sort of half used. I've got this one, which I'm not entirely keen on. And then I bought a Shore version, which I've never used before. I don't use aerosols because I got asthma. I, I really struggle with um, aerosols. So that's why I use those. So that's my deodorant. Heat protection spray for styling my hair. Um, I've got really long hair now compared to what it was in like previous vlogs. And when I straighten or curl it, I really do need to make sure it's in good condition. Um, I've got a selection of like hand wipes. So I think I'm gonna put in my park bag. Only because it's so handy just to like wipe down a table or um, like wipe your hands if you've been eating before you go on things, especially now with COVID. You can never be too careful, can you? Then I've got just like some little floss sticks, they're always handy. And then I bought myself like some travel toothbrushes, just really basic ones. I've got an electric toothbrush and I wasn't really keen on taking that, having to charge it, etc. Just the faff of it, so I've just got, you know, simple things for dent dental care. Uh, I bought a travel adapter. I wasn't going to because I've heard there's like USB plugs and there's also like some UK plugs in some of the rooms uh, when we're staying in Port Orleans Riverside done it just in case um you can never be too careful i guess can you then i've got just some cheap face wipes from primark um i really find this is nice and refreshing evening and morning i don't wear makeup um and i'm really i'm in an area about taking my makeup bag with me because i do sort of wear it on like special occasions but it just melts <laughs> melts off your face um so i just use these just to freshen my face up a little bit uh, then I've got these. These are really handy. I bought these years ago. I've got so many packets. I think I bought them from Amazon. Like little Kleenex. Um, I don't really know how to explain them. Like little tiny sheets and you like pat them when you're really a bit sweaty um, or like you're shiny and it sort of takes the shine off your face. And that's quite nice sometimes just to, when you're feeling a bit ugh, um, makes you feel a bit better. And then, <laughs> these of you seen previous vlogs um first of all Lorna's really allergic to mosquito bites and so am I um you might have seen a previous vlog where I had like a, a manky leg it's happened quite a few times I get bitten mostly on my legs and then my legs really swell so I've got antihistamine tablets I'm gonna start taking them I should have really started taking them already but I forgot but yeah I'm gonna start taking them so I'm sort of building it up in my system first okay then I've got plasters 
never had too many plasters, you know, blisters, sore feet, etc. Grazes, falling over, that sort of thing. So plasters. Again, more anti-black whites. I've got two packs. We're going to have sort of like one in the hotel. And then if we use more, like one in my backpack. Um, got paracetamol and ibuprofen for your headaches, your sore sore heads, um, you know, those sorts of things. Just nice to have uh, have those to hand. Um, I also have medication that I take for migraines. I get migraines quite often, so I've got my specialist medication for that. They be there to prevent my migraines. Um, so fingers crossed they do. If not, though, can I find a no? If I if I do have a migraine, I do take stronger painkillers as well. So I've packed those um, because it'd be really naff if I had a day where I felt rough. Um, my migraines like so bad I have to sleep them off. Um, hand cream because if it's hot and we're doing a lot of you know, walking and not that walking would affect your hands. I don't know. Anyway, hand cream great, great to have. Oh, this is good. Jungle Formula Maximum Mosquito Repellent. Got to keep those mozzies away. I don't like the smell of it, but it's going to do the job in there. Um, I couldn't get a small... I, I, what I do, I begrudge paying loads of money for those small versions, travel size of things. So I just bought a big head and shoulders shampoo. I know you can get shampoo in the hotel. Um, but my hair now that's getting so long, um, I just like to keep it in with a, with a shampoo that I can really trust. So I've gone for that. Um, then trusty sun cream and after sun. Um, I went for a, a fairly cheap 30 SPF, which may, might be a mistake. But I just I'm thinking I don't want to pay out loads and loads of money for one. And then also, secondly, I can reapply as and when I need to. That was my thought. And then after some, because I always get burnt somehow after being so careful. And then, okay, so I didn't want to take my uh, not shampoo, uh, perfume. I don't want to take my perfume. I use Alien by Tierra Mugler just because it's really difficult to travel with because it's you can't like close off the cap. It's like a spray bottle and that's it. So what I did, I just went to Sainsbury's and bought like this Hawaiian Tropic Golden Paradise sort of spray. So it's warm sand and creamy coconut and it smells so refreshing. It just reminded me of holiday. So I was like, I've got to get that for the nice smells. Okay, what's next? Um, hand sanitizer. Who would have thought this would be like gold dust? I found this and I was like, yes, hand sanitizer, don't have to buy any. Um, yeah, so for the same reasons of, of like antibacterial wipes and stuff, just keep them to hand for when you need it. Or like before and after eating, things like that. Uh, I've gone for some dry shampoo. Again, I didn't want to go for the mini one. Uh, you would use this at home anyway. I went for the tropical. You see there's a theme going on here. <coughs> a theme going on here in terms of like tropical. It just it, holiday. I wanted to be holiday. Okay, next um antihistamine cream because i know i'll get bitten um and i've used this before and it's really really good to sort of relieve the itching um ah oh, there's my stronger painkillers knew they were there somewhere i've got these hair divider things when i'm like straightening or curling hair um they're like two quid in boots i was really really impressed with them i just they're very really handy for like clipping your hair back when it's so long um I've got all my inhalers, so I have my aesthetic, so those will go in my hand luggage because I don't want to travel without them and put them in hold, obviously if I need them. Um, I'm not actually usually that bad, especially in summer, I actually find my asthma's not that bad, um, winter's worse, but I always go everywhere with it and I use like a nebulizer sort of thing as well with it, um, so that goes with me. I try as much as possible and I know they sort of always recommend this and I never have come across any problems but with medication that is prescribed to you I try and take the box of that it was originally with my name and my address on um so like my medication for my hip my migraines is the one that's got like my name on it um so they know it's prescribed to me I, I think it probably matters more if you're taking a big quantity if you go away for longer but yeah I always do that to be careful Okay, I did go mini this time, mini toothpaste, because I've always found I don't actually use that much if I buy a big tube. 
do it for a mini toothpaste. Um, micellar water, is that how you say it? Micellar? Michella? Michella? I don't know, either way, this water stuff. Again, I didn't buy a mini one. Uh, I couldn't actually find one that was smaller um, at the time, but yeah, I've got that. Um, and then I've got with it pads. I'm not gonna take this many with me. I'm gonna sort of split the packet up. But again, I just use this not to take off makeup, just to sort of like refresh my face, especially when you've had like sun cream and stuff on. Actually, even if you're not wearing makeup, it's nice to be able to sort of like refresh your face. Um, then I just take my glasses cloth cleanser, um, mini lip balm just to sort of freshen my lips up. It means I find it really difficult when it's hot weather to sort of keep my lips moist, I guess. Sorry for those of you that hate moist. Uh, and then I've got like a little nail file kit. So like my nail file kit's got scissors in it, like a little, I don't know what that thing is, and like little clippers. Um, Cause I have quite long nails at the moment. Um, these are not the nails I'm going to Disney with, but you can see how long they are. Uh, so I like to sort of take I'll take a nail file as well just to keep them in case something goes on wrong with them I can like snip them down. My magic band! I couldn't find my blue one I'm gonna still stay on the hunt for it but Lorna and I are sort of planning to get the new magic band plus when we're out there so hopefully but I'm gonna take this one as well just so I've got the option of choosing which magic band I'd like. I ideally like my blue one as well so I could like make a choice maybe like match my outfit. Um. I'm going to take a couple of hair bands, scrunchies. Uh, now that my hair is longer, I find in the hot weather, I really like want to get out of, of, of my way. Um, so I'm going to take a couple of scrunchies with me. These are all ears ever after scrunchies as well. Really comfy. And um, my pin lanyard. I can't wait to pin trade. Uh, all of these are ones I want to trade. All the ones that I don't want to trade that I want to keep, they're up there on that pin board there. Um, the more that we sort of decorate this room, the more we sort of like adorn it with Disney things. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to take all my ears in an ears over after dust bag just to keep them safe, just in case any of my toiletries sort of go exploding. Um, I've got my sunglasses. <laughs> the literal pain of having to wear glasses is that I have to change them every time I need my sunglasses. Like, oh, oh, yeah. is it sunny? Oh, all right, let me just get this. To, uh, uh. Oh yeah, good. Right, I'm ready. Oh no, I'm going to a shop. Uh. All right, so I don't. I'm just gonna have to cope with it. Um, I need to stop being being a baby about it. Hand luggage. I will always take my trusty Mickey case. Um, perfectly sized, just call it in Primark, yeah it's Primark, um, really impressed with it, it's got like a nice compartment that you can like zip up as well, um, so sort of the plan is that I'm going to put the majority of like my essentials in there that I don't need to be able to like get out on the plane, um, which I'm not entirely sure what that will be, I think I'm going to try and leave it sort of relatively empty and put like merch and stuff in there when I, on like on the way back. Uh, it won't be full of Mickey's not so scary Halloween candy, sadly, because we're just missing it. We fly out on the first day that, that Mickey's not so scary happens, which is a real big shame, because as you know, I love to collect all that candy. Um, but yeah, I think I'll probably leave quite a lot of it like empty for merch, um, and then probably, like I say, put some things in there. Maybe like a change of clothes and stuff for when we get there. Um, yeah, because I think most of the stuff I'll try and fit in a backpack. So because of the size of it and because of like its weird shape, I'm gonna take Stitch on the plane. Oh, he's me so gorgeous. Um, it's really, really like uh, roomy as well. It's got like a little front pocket, big pocket. Look at the size of it's got little ukuleles and pineapples. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll be taking on the plane with me. In there, I'll obviously put my passport i'm gonna save the absolute joy you will all get of looking at my passport photo for the actual vlogs of when we travel it is the most disgusting photo ever ever uh anyway so yeah i'll take that on the plane with me i'll put like my essentials in there like deodorant i always take that stick deodorant it's like 45 mils or something along those lines so i can take that with me 
take this as a passport, my asthma inhaler, my medication, like a little small plastic bag. Um, probably put like my headphones in there. Debating a book, I think I probably will take a book. Uh, although I usually find I get sort of distracted by other things on the plane. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go on the plane with me. In my main bag, I bought a new lounge fly, which is my Chippendale Snacks one. So I'm gonna take that with me as well. Um, Again, really roomy, it's got side pockets, front pocket, inside pocket, um, and you've got like Chippendale with ice cream and popcorn and donuts. Brilliant. Oh, just dropping it on the floor. Um, then something that I didn't mention that I was going to like toiletries and stuff that I bought. Um, again, not an ad, just found these really, really impressive. I went on to Snag Tights and I bought like a little pair of they are tight, they're tight material, uh, like they're called chub rub shorts. No, obviously lockdown affected us all in many ways, including me putting on a bit of weight. <laughs> and I don't want like sticky thighs in the heat uh, rubbing together. So they're like supposed to make you a degree cooler. Cause I was thinking like oh, tights in Florida weather, like little shorts that actually, I tried them on and it actually was like, oh my, my legs feel cool. Um, so yeah, they're definitely gonna use those while we're awake. Uh, as for ears, I don't know, I've got so many now. Um, so I'm going to take my stitches from Ears Ever After. All of them are Ears Ever After apart from one of my pairs. Um, so yeah, these stitch ones, which I've got matching like dress and t-shirt, which I'll show you later. I'm going to take my Lilo ones. Can you see a theme here already? My Lilo ones. Um, just my black velvet ones, which I love because I just go with anything really. Uh, I've got my stitch ones where I've got both Lilo and Stitch to sign. If you've seen a previous vlog, you'll see when that happens. Ohana breakfast. Um, I bought these. These are my most recent ones. They're the Velvet Future Park ears. It's like an Epcot sort of design. <laughs> Match my wallpaper. Um, so they're they're cute. Another stitch. Again, Stitch and Lilo theme. I got my Pooh Bear ones. Kath Kidson. I think actually Lorna can correct me if this was wrong. These were actually made of a pajama bag she had from Kafka's and um, fabric. There you go. And then I've got some more Pooh Bear ones, yellow ones, and they say, "Oh bother, oh bother." And then these, I can't for the life of me remember the name of the shop, but they were closing down, which is a real big shame because they're so beautiful. Um, and I got a pair of these pom pom ones. They'll be cute, won't they? In the park now you'll probably know from the vlog i'm so bad at wearing my ears so luckily my lounge fly is big enough that i can fit them in there i just get a really sore head it's not even the design of any of these ears um uh, maybe i just have a big head or something i don't know but there we go so i thought i'd give you all a bit of an insight to my clothing i don't want to go through like every single thing but just give you an idea of like what sort of things i think about packing um they might help with like tips about what to wear in the, in the heat because I know sometimes people are like how hot is it, what should I wear, what's like the coolest, what makes you the hottest. So yeah I thought I'd give you some advice on that. So I started off with just quite a few like little strappy tops, seriously like these. I know Lorna likes to wear these sort of like as a just a normal top but I don't really like to, I always get my shoulders burnt so I try not to wear these. I'll wear them as like a underneath something else, which layering up isn't always the best option. But as you'll see, some of the tops I'm, I'm like thinking about taking will need like an under top um, to it. I've got this cute little jumpsuit, which I bought for an event I went to. Um, so like this, and it's got like long trousers. And this will definitely be like an evening thing. It's not the sort of thing you'd want to wear during the day. I wore one in Animal Kingdom, like a short play suit, and the material was so hot. Um, yeah, it wasn't worth it. So I don't think I'd wear it during the, the day. Although I did wear it one of the hottest days of the year here. And actually found it way more cooler than wearing something like a dress, which I found like my, my legs got really sticky. So perhaps, but I think it's going to be an evening outfit anyway. I have bought quite a few pairs of shorts like this. So these sort of green pair from New Look. Uh, and then I bought similar shorts in sort of a lilac-y colour and um, a black because th those are the sorts of things I really like to wear. I like sort of 
loose fitting shorts i don't like wearing denim in the heat i really don't want anything too constricting so those have got a little bit of room in them yeah they're really really comfy i also bought these on a bit of a whim when lorna and i went to zara we went shopping in blue water and i just loved them they're like little cycling shorts um with lemons on and i don't know i think they're gonna be a bit hot they're that sort of ribbed material but i bought them and I might wear them. Um, if not, I'll wear them here, like around the house and things. Uh, black shorts are the ones that match the other ones from H&M. Um, I wear these shorts, sorts, sorts, blah, 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 these sorts of shorts quite a lot. I've got these in this navy, this blue striped. I've got an orange pair. I've got an orange flowery pair. These are really lightweight. I got these from Very, and they are so comfortable. What I like as well with my IBS um, is that they're really elasticated. So in those days where I'm feeling really bloated or hot, when I've eaten loads of food, or even after I've after been on a plane, I always feel really bleh. Most people do, I know. Uh, I get sort of uber bloated. They're just so comfortable to wear. Um, I really, really love them. So I've got quite a few pairs of those to take with me. Uh, yeah, they're the orange flowery ones. I'm thinking Animal Kingdom for this. Um, then I bought this on a whim. It's a really similar style to the dress I'm wearing today. Uh, so it is from New Look and it's a animal print. Uh, again, I don't know how I'm going to feel in the heat with it. It's, it's a very lightweight material, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to sort of, because Animal Kingdom is always the hottest. I always think with Animal Kingdom, wear the loosest clothing, the sort of material that is not going to get like really hot and stuffy in because it's it so humid there compared to the other parks. You want something really lightweight. So I'm, I'm thinking about that. If not, I still like the dress. Um, yeah, I bought it and thought I really like that. That'll be nice for Animal Kingdom. It's a shame Animal Kingdom isn't opening very late in the evenings. It's open until eight when we're there. Otherwise I would definitely warn it in an evening at Animal Kingdom. I guess maybe if we do like a park hop and do Animal Kingdom in the afternoon, I might consider like changing into it. Then I just bought like a really plain sort of peplum top. I thought it'd be nice and lightweight. Um, so yeah, that was from New Look as well. Sort of had a bit of a shopping spree. I tried not to, I didn't want to buy loads of new stuff for holiday because so many of the things I've got already are so good. But at the same time, I want to like have that new clothes, excitement, holiday feeling. Then Lorna bought me this amazing t-shirt with figment on. I and mean, everyone loves figment. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to wearing that in Epcot. I then have got a couple of Ears Ever After sort of prints as well. The first one is the Future Park top, so it matches my ears. So I'm going to wear that in Epcot as well. I'm trying to sort of like group my clothes, like Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. I don't think I'll wear everything, um, but I'm also sort of planning, because we can park hop to sort of switch clothes, which seems a bit extra. But at the same time, you get so hot and sweaty, it's quite nice to change your clothes. So that's my thought. I've got another figment tee. This one's like a pocket tee. I bought it off Vinted, but it's originally Magic Magical Day Apparel. Magic Day Apparel? That's what the label says. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. And I love the colour. I love the colour of it. Um, I bought a couple of like Adidas t-shirts. This one's like an oversized black one. Again, it's quite a thick material, so I think that could possibly be my plain outfit, like that top. Um, I also bought an orange one, which I don't usually go for orange, but I really liked it. So I've got an Adidas orange t-shirt. Um, again, a little bit of a thicker material, but um, maybe again a plain sort of outfit. I bought this really cute top from In The Style, which you have to sort of do up to tie it up but it's like a little peplum gingham um yeah so i really like that this is what i was talking about in terms of sometimes i need things to go underneath so this is like a tiny little um tie up dinosaur top which i thought would be really sweet for animal kingdom and i'd want to wear a little top underneath that otherwise i'm definitely getting, getting kicked out of disney which i do not want to do i don't want to be on tiktok being one of those people gets kicked out or like made to wear something else that seems yeah i know i wouldn't want that embarrassment uh, I bought this little yellow top from Zara. Again, um, really cute 
was thinking about maybe wearing it with a lemon shorts. Maybe, maybe. Uh, then I've got my Hakuna Matata t-shirt. I'm gonna wear that in Animal Kingdom. I feel like I've got way more clothes than what I'm actually there for, so I probably won't wear everything. I'm definitely gonna wear this shirt. So if you don't know already, I've got two cats. One's called Nala and one's called Norbert. Um, Nala already was called Nala when we adopted her. So it was like match made in heaven. Um, so I bought this t-shirt especially for Animal Kingdom with Nala on. Um, we're also planning, well I'm planning anyway, to in uh, Disney or in Universal, I'm gonna buy like a Nala plush and like a Norbert plush if they do them in Universal. I'm really hoping they do. So that I can put them in Nala Disney spare room. So I've got like a little mini Nala no mini Norbert. Uh, I got my Chippendale t-shirt from Is Ever After. Um, Cause I love Chippendale. Um, you've probably seen this in the vlogs before, the Ohana coffee t-shirt. It's, you know, it's a staple. It's a staple item of my clothing. Uh, I've got a lilac plaid Is Ever After t-shirt. I got my trusty Abu when people bother me on my lunch break tee which I've worn before. This has to always be the t-shirt I wear on the last day of the holiday. It's when you realise your holiday is over. But it's got to be done. Um, I've worn this before, my Mickey t-shirt. As I said, I match my ears. I've got my ears over after t-shirt, which is stitch pattern. I've got the same in a dress. Um, I've got my rainbow, rainbow pastel. Uh, and then I've got my mini mouse dress print from Ears Ever After. So I've got quite a lot of sort of um, clothing that I've bought from Ears Ever After apparel. I wore them on the cruise, we went on the Disney cruise, um, really comfy. Um, not worn it in the heat, so yeah, definitely give an update on what, or how that is in the heat. Then for the evening, I've got this really cute little top, which ties up. And then with it, it's like a little maxi skirt. I say a little maxi skirt, that's a bit uh, of a contrast, isn't it? So like this skirt. It's a really nice little set to wear, which I thought I was wearing in the evenings. God, I've still got so much clothes to go through. Um, got my pyjamas. Uh, pyjamas. Little spuddy top. It's like the reverse of Mickey. But yeah, that's been on holiday before. Got my, well, I'm taking, so when I went on a cruise uh, quite a few years ago, I bought a bikini slash swimming costume for every day we were out there. We were out there for two weeks. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, I'll take, I'll, I mean, on the cruise, I did wear one every single day. And then for Disney, I always end up taking loads of swimming costumes and loads of bikinis and never wearing them. It's like, yeah, you'll wear them in like Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach, or Blizzard Beach is closed at the moment. Um, but I don't actually need that much. It dries so quickly in the Florida heat. I'm just going to take one swimming costume, one bikini. So we've got like a black one. It's high waisted, which benefits me. I'm always really wary of bloating especially when I'm out in Florida, so I like to try and cover it up a little bit. Um, got these cute pairs of shorts from Hollister. Uh, that's the bikini top, that goes with the bikini. A couple of like little tops like this. I've got one in black as well from New Look. Um, a longer sort of blue dress, which I'm wary about wearing in the heat. I'm gonna take it anyway for sort of like a nicer evening, uh, maybe in springs or something. I've got so much clothes. Is this all gonna fit? I bought this on Vinted for my Universal day. I had like a panic moment last week where I was like, I don't have anything that's not Disney that I could wear like that's Universal themed. Um, I used to have a Minions t-shirt, which I've worn before and I couldn't find it. Um, so yeah, I've gone for my Jurassic Park because I love Jurassic Park. You know, hopefully all know my feelings on if there really was a Jurassic Park, I would definitely go and if I died, I don't care. Um, plain Navy t-shirt. Uh, there's my orange pair of shorts that goes my other shorts. I bet you're all really bored thinking, I don't know what she's wearing. But I'm just, I'm hoping it's sort of somewhat helpful for people who are packing in terms of like how maybe not much to take with you. Because definitely here there's more like more than 14 or so t-shirts. Uh, again, there's uh, something to go on like with a little top underneath. This little orange thing's really cute. Might wear that more evenings. Blue spotty top. I found that's actually really nice and lightweight when I wore it before in Florida. I thought like it looked a bit of a clingy material, but actually it was fine. Pajama bottoms, black top that matches my white one. This is really cute, I got it in Primark. Uh, just simple with mini on. Um, wore that on the cruise and really, really liked the sort of the colour of it. I don't often wear pink, 
so I quite like that. Swimming costume. I like to quite. I love to cover up. I'm not. I'm not one to flaunt things. Um. So yeah. Um. A little blue top for going out, which is nice. And another blue dress, which I have worn before. If you've seen some of the pictures from when Lorna and I went to to Paris, the dress I'm wearing when I'm like lying in front of the castle when there's no one behind me. It's such a great picture. Um, yeah, that was great. That's it. Um, just a little dress. This dress I've worn before in Florida. It was nice and lightweight. Um, I remember it most because I was eating a corn dog at the time outside the castle. That's the dream. Uh, another swimming costume, which as I picked up to do the video, I realised that the strap's broken, like the plastic bit. So I don't think I'm going to take it, which is really sad. Um, white dress, which I've worn before. That I actually bought in Florida a really long time ago and then a couple of other like little dresses um yeah I think my sort of top tips for packing is take some stuff which you're sort of prepared might be a bit sticky if you really want to wear it try and sort of get lightweight clothing um I stay away from denim completely like including shorts I just don't like it up against my skin I don't like that feeling I go for like really lightweight, shorts, elasticated, because even if you're not the sort of person that bloats loads, you eat so much, sometimes it's just nice to have that that's been like, oh, I can release it a little bit, um, I can stretch myself out. Um, I always sort of try and take more clothes than I know I'm going to wear, just so that I've got the options. But also, if you want to change clothes in the middle of the day, just after you've like refreshed yourself, we quite often go back for like a little nap or shower, and I'm on change my clothes afterwards. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend that. And for me this time around, I really, really want to sort of make the most of it. And I know it sounds silly, but I want to get as many photos as I can. I want to like match the park I'm in. I just want to like completely immerse myself in it. So if it means I've got a load of washing when I come back, like I really couldn't care less. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed packing with me. It's made me 10 times more excited for actually like going. Um, and I can't believe it's Friday. I can't put into words. I mean, I just keep thinking to myself, something's going to happen. It's going to put it off. But it's not going to happen. I, I'm i getting even more like sure now that that's not going to be the case. So I'm so excited. And I really hope you enjoy watching along with our vlogs. Because we genuinely do it because we enjoy watching it back ourselves. And if at the same time we can give back to people and give them some advice... By no means are we saying we're experts, um, we just want to share our journey with, with you and our experiences. So hopefully see you all really 